Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 46. This is going to be the second half of our little Bibles bar creation that we're going to be working on. And the next step was to start setting up our listeners and our broadcasters. So I'm going to open up Unity, Mono Development, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the web page where we had, oh, that's me uploading a video. I'm going to the back to the page on the Unify community or the Unity Wiki. And we're just going to take a quick look at how to register events and how to listen for events. So you'll notice here he has a function called on speed change. Now this here takes a float and that float is going to be called speed. Then he just does something in the function. In this case, he's just changing the speed to equal what was passed in. Now we'll be having functions similar to this. The one that we've created was uh, health bar size. I'm actually going to change that to keep the naming convention the same and call it on change health bar size. Then he has an event listener and he puts his in on enable and we're also going to be putting ours there as well. So we can go ahead and just cut and paste this whole thing in and then let's go over it. So I'm going to go to my on enable method, paste that right in, tab it so it's easier to read, and let's go over it. So what it's doing is it's telling the messenger that we're going to want to float and we're going to add a listener. Now this is the, what we're going to be listening for. So every time the messenger gets this message called speed changed in this case, it's going to tell us that something has changed and it's going to call this function. So we're going to want to change this a bit. We're going to call it player health update. And we're going to change this method name to be the one we're calling right here. So I'll just paste this in. Now, earlier we set this Boolean value up here to tell if it's the player or not. Now we did that because there's going to be different messages we want to listen to. So if it's the player health vital system, we're going to want to listen to the player health update. Where if it's the mob one, we're going to want to listen to a different message called mob health update. And I'm just going to add a little if block here. So we're going to say if, and I'm just going to cut and paste this in so I don't get any typos. So what I'm saying is if is player health bar, which by default we set to true. So by default, this is going to be the player's health bar. So if it is the player's health bar, listen for this event. And when we receive it, call this method. But if it's the mob, then we're going to want to listen for the mob's health change event. So I'm just going to cut and paste that in. And instead of player, I'm just going to say mob. So it still calls the same event, but it's going to be passing in different values for it. I'm just going to quickly alt tab out to Unity, make sure there's no errors. There's none. And now since we've added listeners, we want to make sure we have a way to disable those listeners. So I'm just going to go back into the website look at his on disable method and right here is where he removes his listener so I'm just going to cut and paste that again uh, not there go back to here and I'll paste that in and of course we'll want to make sure we have the right parameters for it And also the if block. So we want to make sure that we're not trying to disable a listener that we don't have. And this one was mob. So there we go. We've got one to enable and we have one to disable. Now let's go down here and I'm just going to start off with a debug statement. So debug.log. And I'm just going to say 
we heard an event. Just so we know that this is firing off. Now we're going to want to go someplace and add a broadcaster just to make sure that everything's working fine and our health bars are actually receiving the message. Uh, I'm not really sure where we're going to put it in the final version. But I'm going to go up here to base character and I think we had a an update or something like that in here that we're calling all the time. Apparently not. Well, I'll just add it to the player class for now. Now I'm just going to put it in the update statement. Because all we're doing is just testing to make sure that the messages are being sent. And for some reason that doesn't seem to look right. Ah, we're getting the message that it takes the parameter int int. So I'll have to say int int. Int int. Just keep in mind that the parameters that you're passing down into the function, in which case here is on change health bar size, whatever you have here, if you notice we have two ints, has to be the same up here. And here as well. Let's go back, take a look. And all the errors are gone. Okay, so I'm going to want to add a broadcaster in here. And if we go back to the website and take a look, Here's our broadcast. So I'm just going to cut and paste that, go back into our code, paste it in. Now I'm just going to pass it two values, which of course are going to be both ints. Now we're not calling speed changed, we're going to call Player health update. And this is what we want to pass into it. So the parameters we're passing in, if we look down here, is the current health and maximum health. So I'll just come back up here and say the current health is 80 and the maximum health is 100. Let's go into Unity. There's no errors and let's see if we get the, the message. Of course we can't see it if I'm in full screen. So we'll turn that off, start it up, go over to our console, and if you notice we heard an event, we heard an event, it's going to keep going because every frame we get that. In Unity 3.0 you actually get a little uh, message counter down here. Well not a message counter as far as the messages we're sending, but as far as the debugs Statements will tell you how many errors you have and whatnot. I kind of missed that already. <laughs> now let's change that debug statement just a little bit. Just so that we know that the values we're passing in are the values we're supposed to be getting. So we heard an event. I'm just going to put a colon space after the colon and say uh, current health equals then we're just going to concatenate the value that we have here for current health that we're being passed. And then we'll concatenate another string. And I'll just say max health equals. And then again, we'll concatenate on the max health we're being passed. Yeah, I just want to put a space there. You don't have to, but. I just like it all spaced out, it's just easier for me to read. So if we start it back up, um, let's see, scroll through all the constructors, and here we go, current health 80, 
Maximum health 100. Okay, so we know it's not only receiving the message, but it's also receiving both parameters. So now I'm just going to comment that out. I want to leave the debug statement there in case I do need it later. And I want to be able to store the percentage somehow. So I know how long to make the bar. So I'm going to come up here, create another private. It's going to be of type int. And I'm going to say max bar length. And of course, sticking to the naming convention, since it's a private, I put that in front of it. And we'll comment it while we're here. So this is simply how long the bar can be at its maximum length. So at 100% health, this is how long it is. This is how large the... I guess we should stop calling it a health bar because we're going to be using this for all of our vitals. So we'll just say vital bar can be if the target is at 100% health. Okay. Fix that little typo in the comments. And I guess we should make another private saying current bar length. And I'll make that private as well. Private int cur bar length. And this is the current length of the vital bar. So it's pretty easy. It's going to be 80% of the maximum length with the parameters that we're currently passing in. But let's just store that to this variable here. So cur health divided by max health will give us the percentage, but it's going to be in a decimal format. Uh, it's going to be a float. So what we're going to want to do is multiply it by the max bar length. And I'm going to put some parentheses in here just uh, clean things up a bit so that we know we want to divide here first and multiply. It really doesn't matter mathematically, but I just like the parentheses there so I can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to comment this line in particular. Uh, this calculates the current yeah, current bar length based on the player's health percentage. Uh, it looks like we're nearing 14 minutes on this video and since 15 minutes is the max I'm just going to call it quits here then later on tonight I'll finish these ones off and put them up for you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye bye.